this is the sclera and here we have the optic nerve we call this area the limbus we get here one of the extraocular muscles medial lateral rectus we have here the superior rectus and below the inferior rectus if we take this away So this is the cornea, this is the lens, we call this the vitreous cavity. This is the iris, here this is the posterior chamber, this is the pupil, and this is the anterior chamber. If we take the cornea like this, so here this is the angle of the anterior chamber, we get the anterior chamber. As you can see it here, it should be anterior to the iris, while here we get the posterior chamber posterior to the iris, and they are connected together through the pupil. Okay, this represents the lens. This represents the outer coat of the eye, which is formed of the cornea anteriorly and the sclera posteriorly. Here this represents the sclera and the choroides lining the back of the sclera. This should represent the ciliary body and the iris. Apply it here. So this is the choroid, this is the cellular body, and this junction is serrated, we call it the ora serrata. This is a section in the cellular body, and we notice that the iris is attached to the cellular body. This is the angle of the anterior chamber between the iris and the sclera and back of the cornea. This transparent membrane represents the retina. Only blood vessels are seen while the rest of the retina is a transparent membrane. If we apply it in place here, you see becoming red as the choroid is seen through this transparent membrane. The retina starts at the edge of the ora serrata and it ends here at the edge of the disc. Then we have this represent the vitreous face, what we call the hyoid membrane. If you put it in place like this, in contact with the surface of the retina and the whole cavity is filled with the vitreous if you put the lens in place here so this is the anterior surface of the lens posterior surface of the lens and this whole cavity is filled with the vitreous so this is a section in the eye you see optic nerve coming from behind. This is center of an artery and vein. It will appear here in the retina. So this is the anatomy of this model representing the eyeball.